All right, this is Backpacking America, and I've been using a yoga mat as a sleeping pad. All right, uh, recently I got rid of my inflatable thermal rest and switched up to a yoga mat. And uh, that's because I added a hammock to my backpacking gear. And uh, I wanted something kind of as emergency purposes. This is pretty thin. Uh, a lot of people who actually use yoga mats will use them under their regular sleeping pad, which to me seems like a lot to carry. But anyway, uh, if I'm in the city in an urban environment, I will lay down some cardboard first and then use this. Um, out here in the woods, I will lay down at least some leaves or something else to kind of add a little more insulation for me in the ground because they are pretty thin. Um, the, there's different qualities too that you can get. I noticed that the first one I tried uh, had a little more sponginess to it, a little more sturdiness. This one, I probably won't be using much longer. Uh, I'm probably gonna go with a Z-Lite or a Z-Lite knockoff. I think Field and Stream makes one. Uh, it, otherwise, I mean, it was great for me. It's just that this one's a little spongy. Uh, what I did was I cut the length down to about 20 to 21 inches. This takes three to four inches off the sides. And then I cut the length itself down to about 55 inches. And that basically cuts a third of the weight off of the yoga mat, bringing it down to just slightly over a pound, which a pound for a sleeping pad sounds like a lot. Kind of it is, but it packs up pretty small, as you can see here and here. All right. You can get these uh, yoga mats really cheap. Uh, some people said that they found them expensive. I didn't at all. You can get them at Walmart for about six bucks. Uh, Walmart online has them, which you need a credit card to order to have de delivered in store, which is free. But uh, I have actually put together another video on how to get a credit card and use a credit card if you're homeless or whatever, because I bump into too many people that have a problem with that. Um, also, there's a store in the States called Five Below. Everything is $5 or less, and you can get uh, sturdier yoga mats than the Walmart one there. They're a little bit thicker but those are mostly like bright blue colors. The only thing I would suggest is a little bit of spray paint on the outside wrap uh, where you would put your feet. Uh, that way it would give a darker color on the outside uh, when you wrap it up. But it does wrap up pretty small. And uh, the one thing I like about this thing is it's flexible. So I can actually slip that right into my hammock as another layer between me and the outside um, while I'm in my hammock sleeping. Hammock. All right, there you can see the yoga mat inside the hammock as a sleeping pad. It uh, gives you a little more insulation on the rear. Basically, you uh, fold the yoga mat in half and just slip it in there and then sit down like you normally would. This hammock's hanging pretty low. Uh, I like it that way because I'm out of most people's sight lines. And most of this brush will cover me up, you know. I won't be able to be spotted from very far away. So, this is it. Yoga mat as a sleeping pad, both on the ground, woo, you know, and as emergency and as a little extra warmth on my butt in the hammock. And that's how I use the yoga mat as a sleeping pad. Backpacking America. <laughs>